going to read a story called Michelle's MVP Award. Let's get started. It's a story, it's called a chemical engineering story. From your background experience, from your background, what do you infer chemistry? Chemistry could be about chemicals. Could be about chemicals. So you're using base words, excellent. I love inferences being made. Chemicals. All right, what have we been talking about for the past couple of weeks? What kind of science have we been discussing? Taylor? States of matter. States of matter, matter. So we're going to um, think about our, what chemistry has to do with matter, OK? An MVP award. Michelle grabbed the bag of Play-Doh she'd made earlier. She made a Play-Doh maple leaf before every hockey practice. Making the dough is the fun part, Michelle said. Can we teach people how to do that? Hmm, have you ever tried to teach somebody how to do something? You did? Teresa, what'd you try and teach someone how to do? One of these card games, and it didn't work out so well because I kind of got frustrated when I walked out the room. All right, like, so you're trying to teach a process? How many people have tried to play games, like, with the process? All right, that word process is a really important word that we're going to um, come back to again and again and again. Michelle's right, said Tim. We should let people make the dough. If we write down the directions, everyone could do it. Michelle, do you think you and Tim can come up with a plan for how we can do this? What did they mention in the story that would help, be helpful if you were going to teach something how to do something? Morgan? They could do it step by step. Step by step. They said something else, too. Besides step by step, what did they say that they did, that they could do? Sarah? They could, like, write the directions. Write it down. Okay, so we've got write it down <laughs> step by step. Michelle and Tim explained that Coach Boucher had told them and the plan that they'd come up with to raise money for the team. That's great, Uncle Adam said. It reminds me of what I do for my work. Sometimes my job, I use steps and directions that a lot like recipes. We just have a different name for them. We call them processes. What do we call them? Processes. I have an idea, said Uncle Adam. How about if the three of us work on this Play-Doh process project when we get home? Michelle and Uncle Adam sat down at the kitchen table. OK, let's get started said Uncle Adam. Maybe I should tell you about one of the ways I figure out how to design things at work. You might like to use it too. It's called the engineering design process. So what we're going to do, boys and girls, now is this. Uh, we are going to talk about this engineering design process. And we have some, a little bit of um, data that I want to go through with you just to review to make sure we have a, a good understanding of what the process is all about. How did Michelle do the asking part? What was the asking part that Michelle was doing? How are they going to do it? Yeah, exactly. How is she going to make Play-Doh? Exactly. So you can fill that in right now. I'm going to let you work in your groups for five minutes discussing the processes. Michelle planned the process by this is how she made the direction. Using pictures. I spoke Sunday. So, Red Table, what part did you have um, as a group? What did you discuss for the asking? What, what part of the story, what part when she was going through was asking in the design process? How was she going to make the Play Doh? How was she going to do it? Okay. Now, who did she start with, Joe? Her dad, and what did her, she and her dad do? They looked up they the looked, recipes online. Right, on the internet, okay? So they did some research, all right? So we got research on the internet. So that's her asking, how can I get Play-Doh? How can I? All right, now, who was doing the creating? What happened when Tim tried it? When Tim tries to make the Play-Doh? Sayer, what happened when Tim tried to make the Play-Doh? It was gooey. It was gooey, right. It was gooey. It was not good quality Play-Doh whatsoever. Exactly. So then what was the next step, S Sarah? Um, 
they did the step-by-step -step process with the ingredients to make the dough. And what part of the design process would that have been? Um, the improved. Improved. So they improved it. Okay. So improved. That's when they added step-by-step. -step. Is that what you told me? Okay, I think it would help us also, boys and girls, if we reviewed some vocabulary. So what do you think, from what you've heard, what would be important words? Chemistry. Chemistry, yes, chemistry. Okay, what, what else do you think might be important? Lily? The engineering design process. The engineering design process, awesome. Yes, definitely. You have to understand the process if you're going to go through it, right? Hi, my name is Grace Schofield. I teach in Chicopee, Massachusetts at the Bowie School. Because my time is limited in the science room, I have a, a good relationship or a working um, relationship with the other classroom teachers. And so I had approached them with using the storybook as their reading lesson and they were excited to do so. The format set out in the EI e program made it so comprehensive for them with vocabulary and questions and things of that nature. So it worked really, really well.